Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once another reaction for you guys. Today, guys, of course, we're continuing the journey of Superman and Lois. This is Season 4, Episode 6, and I saw the title, and it was a little confusing. I was like, what does that mean? And the title is, When the Lights Come On. It's a very weird title, but anyways. Okay, regardless of all that, I'm excited as hell. This show is continuing to crush it, and honestly, I'm frustrated. I'm a little sad, because the show is ending, and so many people, including myself, are saying week after week as the show continues to air a new episode for this final season why is this show ending why like it's it's ridiculous that we're losing this show because even the actors have been saying we thought the show would last for like you know two or three more seasons like we were expecting to be here for that long and it feels crazy that we're wrapping the show up and it's because of the whole buyout of the cw with next star i understand there's a reason behind it and people say well the superman movie james gunn it's a separate thing entirely. I think the CW Next Star buyout was really the main cause of why this show is being axed. Anyways, I hate the fact we're losing this show. I'm also happy we're not getting breaks, because normally with a lot of these shows that air on the CW, they have breaks. So thankfully there is none. So that's good. So here we are with episode six. We are now in the back half of the final season, and I'm really curious to see where we go from here. You know, Lex made a pretty... A really bad decision he, he made the wrong choice in regards to his to his daughter and everything and he chose like basically terrorizing and going after lois and clark and everything rather than having a relationship and rebuilding that with his daughter like that's how much he is ingrained into this idea of basically hurting lois and clark and doomsday is gone presumably i'm assuming he'll be back in some sort of capacity before the show actually ends but Lois found a way to talk to him because essentially that is still the other Superman from the other Earth. So that's a way they made it work. But anyways, let's dive into now, guys. Let's check out. Let's see what they do with this episode. Let's move Lois Season 4, Episode 6 with a weird title. Let's jump to now, guys. Let's see what they show us. Let's go. Really? Wow. Did something happen with Elizabeth? Where are we with the land? Mm. You spoken to Mary Lang? I'm pretty sure she's the issue. There have been robots yeah. at every stop. I'll deal with her. Wanting to be back in my daughter's life was one of the things that got me through prison. Mm. Your loyalty was the other. Fresh bread. Hmm. Superboy. That was all this morning. Nice. Just give yourself. How many saves have you made today? Uh, three or four. Nothing too crazy. Wanna grab a bite of Biggie Mace? Uh, oh, hello. You know you don't have to come home. All I ever do is work and sleep. Well, we didn't see it at the diner last Wish episode. You money, right? We may have a shot with Cheryl Kimball, though. So we mm. just need her to come out of hiding again. You've got some salt and pepper going on. What? Where? I mean, oh. there's a patch. A patch? Is that Luther's assistant? Yes, it is. She, she doesn't have a title. Stop worrying about your hair. <laughs> well, that he's getting gray, showing he is aging. What can I do for you? Yeah, what can I do for you? What you can stop doing. Mm. I'm not following. These zoning restrictions of yours. I'm building my new headquarters in Smallville. Nothing you do is going to change that. What? Is that a threat? She's not scared of you. The security system of yours. Mm. It's just like one an old acquaintance of mine built. Get out of my office. And don't come back. Exactly. Can't maybe threaten her like that. What the hell is Luther thinking? He believes this will be the perfect location for our next headquarters. Mm. Yeah, maybe if we're in the fertilizer business. So the rest of us don't have whatever cozy relationship it is you have with Luther. Oh shit. Here we go. So prison wasn't enough and now you're trying to sabotage his business? You have no idea how dangerous he is. She has to have an idea. He killed my father. You can't beat him. You know, with that big scary monster gone, I'm starting to like my chances. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Whatever Lux says is mine too gets done. Elizabeth came here and asked him to be a part of her life. And then he chose but the... But he couldn't mm -hmm. walk away from his obsession with me. Putting down her mind about Lex and all that. Which, I think she's already kind of had that, but... Everything okay? 
<laughs> Not really. I know you're Superman, so. Uh, that's new. Yes, it is. <laughs> Your mom was a guardian angel around these parts. Yeah, but you can make a difference. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Anything to help? Now, if it isn't my team, oh, the coach. You boys ready for the football season? Coach, I'm, uh, I'm banned from the team. How about you two just keep worrying about being... <laughs> he knows, too. Of course coach, he does. What about you, Curly Q? Yeah, what about you, Curly Q? <laughs> I'm sorry to let you down. But Luther didn't murder those people. Even Lois said so. Which doesn't make him a good person. Is Luther really that bad? Yes. Yeah. Everything you've done for this town. Oh. Yeah, she's gonna have to say it. Just okay, everyone right. knows. Everyone knows. Just me or did it? Everyone like knows. Katie knows who I really am. Yes. Everyone knows pretty much at this point. Luther is moving Luther Corps to Smallville. Well, not gonna happen anymore. How did you convince her? Well, that part was pretty easy considering she yeah. thinks I'm Superman. That's nice. Where have you been? Putting out my second fire in a row. Heard they had great bagels, so. <laughs> Have a seat. Have a seat. No. And I need to not share shifts with my ex boyfriend. Fair point. Come on, this isn't really about us. So you can go anywhere and do anything. I mean, do you really True. feel like taking orders all day? No, but no. you're walking away. It's yep. not like she actually signed anything. Aidy was simply considering exactly. it to oh. the terms, Miss Manning. But I've had a change of heart. Then please. Shit, 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 shit. You can barely hear anymore, and you have Lex Luthor breathing down mm -hmm. your neck. Look, you've been very helpful. Yes. But when you push yourself too hard, that's when mistakes can happen. This doesn't involve you. She said the deal. Oh, it does, though. though. She's the mayor. Need. She needs mm -hmm. you to stop. What's your number? I said enough. Honor? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's okay, Clark. Mr. Luther was just leaving. Ten million. Shit. Sell me your farm, you get ten million dollars. It doesn't feel right, A.D. They're all standing up. No. Something's wrong. The answer's still no. 100%. Love it. Love it. What it is that you're doing here anymore? Because you're not the only one who can see 10 steps ahead. And I am telling you that all this, it's a bad move. After running your business for the last 10 years. And making millions. Which I earned. Do you still believe in me? Debatable. Amanda. There's something that I want to talk to you about. But I want, before I want to you leave. make up your mind, where would you even go? Well, yeah, where would you go? Do you think that maybe you're just going a little too all in on the Superboy thing? He no. is, 100%. You've been talking to Mom and Dad. No, that's because when I get involved, I make things worse. Can you believe John, Henry, and Lana have been dating for a month? I know. I'm really happy for them. You forget that sometimes that that's actually a thing. You don't need to hide it. I like the salt and pepper. Yeah, you're getting older. It's, just, it's okay. I don't think now's the time for Superman to be going gray. I mean, it's not just the gray. It's He's trying to accept the fact. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not liking this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, that's got, like, is that, is that Otis guy? Maybe? I don't think this, this this can't be Lex. I was right. It was Otis. It was Otis. I knew it. Holy shit! Swing away. Mm-hmm. Otis. I rubbed my neck and it was just squeezing and hard on me. Breathe. We should have been here, Sarah. No, I don't blame you guys. Mm. It's not like you guys are waiting around all day for something bad to happen. Where's your father? Isn't he with you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Here we go. Oh my god. You look upset. A little bit. Did something Ooh. happen? We know it was you. Just stop trying to set me up. Stop lying! We are going to end you. No shit. Oh, is this a oh, oh, brawl? Okay. No powers. Okay. Ooh. Holy shit. This is awesome, dude. This is crazy, dude. I'm loving this. Oh. Come on, Clark. Get up, man. Come on. Dude, get up. Come on, man. Ooh. 
Ooh. Uh, fight back. Come on. There you go. There you go. Don't need power to beat the shit out of Lex Luthor. Oh, he's loving this. He's loving it. Oh, he won't do it. He won't do it, though. I always knew Superman was a facade. Mmm. Shit. They see who he really is. I mean, he's standing up for his family and his friends. What are you talking about? That was awesome. You went full exactly. Mortal Kombat. Okay. okay. Until Luther's back behind bars, all of us need to be ready. Mm hmm. Where should we go first? Yeah, where should we go? Like what? Fly out right now? Greek Islands. Greek Islands. No, no, no. Don't apologize. Just promise me you'll stop him. Mm -hmm. The first thing we need to do is get you a killer suit. Mm -hmm. And there you guys have it. And the title now makes more sense for this episode because literally Lex turned on the red sunlights or whatever. And it was just an all out brawl, all out fist fight where there was no powers. However, Clark still got the upper hand and Lex even admitted he was stronger than I thought. So Lex's mindset was, oh, Superman is only strong because of his alien powers. He doesn't know actually how to fight. Bad misconception. Because literally he's got his ass beat. Now, he did get the upper hand at one point on Clark. We'll admit, yeah, sure. <laughs> but Clark, at the end of the day, still won. And that line when he was laughing as Clark was choking him at first and then stopped when he saw his family over there. They see who you really are. They see who you really are. It was all a facade. No. Now, Lois admitted that Clark shouldn't have went down to the, like, you know, to his level, Lex's level in terms of that fist fight, but his sons were loving it, but, but Lex deserves it. It's not like, some, it's, it's not like this guy that Clark was attacking and fighting didn't deserve it. Lex literally sent Otis to kill Lana and potentially Sarah too. And Sarah thankfully had a bat, a metal bat, it seemed. It beat the shit out of Otis and knocked his ass out. But still, Lex deserves it. After all the things he's done, especially having Doomsday kill General Lane, and then of course killing him, and then Otis sending, uh, you know, sending Otis after Lana tonight, and potentially attacking Sarah as well, and trying to kill both of them because Sarah was in the house too. Yeah, Lex deserves to get his ass beat. Now I wonder, I wonder if we're gonna kill Lex in this show. Right in the finale. I wonder if that's what we're going to do. I don't know. But I have a sneaking suspicion we might. Based on all the things he's done. And I'm not saying like. Oh we just like murder him. I'm saying like if it's an all out brawl between Superman. Because they, they mentioned a killer suit. We've already seen in some of the marketing. He gets his Lex suit. Like we know that Lex gets his suit. The suit we, we all know in terms of the kryptonite lace suit. So. I think it's an all out brawl at that point and then Lex dies I think potentially but is that the right decision after all the things he's done potentially I'm not saying you know we should just start murdering all the villains but you get what I'm saying he's done so much in this show <laughs> it's only been a few episodes when you really think about how long because it feels like Lex has been around for so long no he's been around for a short bit amount of time in terms of you know showcasing in the show a little bit in season three and then of course every single episode i think except for episode four with the wedding i think he went in that one anyways but he's been a huge presence in every single episode i think the fight overall the brawl was pretty good i think it was really well done and i like how they were balancing out Jordan trying to find his path in terms of because he he's wanting to take a step back from being a superhero but then he's realizing after the whole you know Lana and Sarah thing with Otis I should have been listening I shouldn't try to step back and Jonathan is feeling bad for sleeping and not hearing it but Jonathan's been really pushing himself and I think the point of telling him to slow down is probably the smart move and the right move because he's pushing himself too far honestly at times because he's just doing too much but it's because Clark isn't like, I guess he's not ready to go back out there, right? Jonathan is comfortable doing it, but Clark, he's like, I don't know. Because, see, Lois mentions the salt and pepper. Like, the, he's getting some gray in his hair. It's because of the new heart. It's not because he's just gradually getting older. I think the new heart that he has, General Lane's human heart, has obviously, we all know, affected him. 
And I think that's part of it. He is now going to start aging normally, I think. Which is fine. Because it shows that there is an end to him. Like, we, like there's a presumed end to his run as being Superman. And I think with him telling his sons, we all have to be ready with Lex. We all have to be ready. That thing I mentioned, I think, I think it was last episode or the episode before that, there was this concept art that came out of both Jonathan and Jordan having these Superman-esque Superboy suits. And if that turns out to be true, holy shit. If, if we actually get suits for them, it'd be amazing. I don't know if they have the budget for it, but it would be amazing if we got it because it's going to highlight and showcase the future of this world with supermen, potentially. So we'll see what happens with that. Lex's kind of right-hand person who chose him at the end of the episode, I forget her name, um... Obviously, she's making the wrong move, but she is now pro now, now she's going to add more of her opinions into the mix in terms of how to stop Lois and them. Because Lois, of course, confronted her when they're at the supposed land that they were going to buy and all that. Which, that was a whole good sequence itself in terms of Lois confronting her and ultimately Clark talking with, I forget her name, Ada or a, some sort of, I forget, you know, I'm bad with names. But this woman who was going to be, who's selling the land to Lex, and then her standing up to the lawyers and even Lex and standing up, and then the other people in the bar also standing up said, this doesn't feel right, don't do it. All good sequences, and it's pretty much confirming even more so that everyone knows, because there was that whole girl at the counter, whatever, scanning and shit, and feeling nervous around Clark. Smallville, it seems like everyone in Smallville knows that that's Superman, because of the whole Doomsday thing. I think they've they finally pieced it all together. It's all making sense now. Because why would Superman show up randomly in Smallville all the time? I wonder, because he's living here. Of course he is. So, I'm wondering if in closer as we get to the finale, we're going to have more people just kind of reveal. Because it's kind of obvious, like, even more so, he's starting to realize, people know who I am. And I wonder if it's just going to be public knowledge once the finale is upon us. I wonder if it's just going to be out there that... This is because that's what they did at the end of Supergirl, right? Like Kara revealed herself, or it was revealed, or I forget the way because I didn't actually watch the episode. I just know that it, it happened. But they, um, it's revealed that she is Supergirl. Like everyone has figured this out. Um, it's out there. It's public knowledge. So I wonder if they're gonna do that here with Superman with Clark. We'll see. But yeah. So overall, this was a pretty solid episode of Superman and Lois. Uh, obviously, the highlight is the final fight between Lex and Superman, Clark, in the uh, third act, uh, which was pretty good. And I think, I don't know if Lex was, like, assuming he was going to kill Clark here or something. I guess maybe that, that was his thinking, but it obviously didn't work. Um, other good moments I'm missing. I mean, well, Sarah's, like, leaving abroad, which I was surprised to see Lana and Sarah here because they've already appeared a couple of times, and, they're, and we supposedly have limited amount of episodes per character in terms of their appearances because of the budget cuts and them not being series regulars so i wonder if this is lana and sarah's final appearance until the finale or are they gonna appear in the finale at all like we've heard that everyone's appearing in some sort of capacity in the finale so I w i'm assuming we'll see them both back there again in that episode but i was expecting and maybe they're still gonna do this i was expecting sarah and jordan and you know to kind of end up maybe rekindling and that may still happen in the finale but as of right now you know sarah's just wanting to travel abroad and do something so they're finding it seems ways to kind of end character arcs in a sense because they have to because the show is not going to come back for a fifth season so we're not going to see sarah again we're not going to see these characters again like we're not seeing them so it makes sense to have something different and that means jordan could still be with sarah just because she's like abroad studying or you know living out of the country he can just go fly over and see her so it's not the end of the world but yeah so well maybe we'll see if that happens or not i'm assuming they'll do that they'll hint at jordan and sarah rekindling their relationship i'm guessing but or maybe they set it up to where they're just gonna be good friends and that's okay don't know we'll see what happens but anyways guys what you guys think of the episode i'm curious to know your thoughts guys whatever thoughts you have let me know your thoughts in the comments below talk to you guys soon peace out